is like my first ride, I think, since I've passed the MSF course. Did that two day course. It's pretty easy. Um, so I've got quite a bit of experience riding so far, just been on the bike. Just been practicing. And uh, having the experience of riding definitely helped with the course. Another biker. I honestly think that 600cc class we got a Busa. I also think that the 600cc class is an easy one to get started learning riding on. I definitely like the Suzuki Jix there. It's definitely a good quality bike. The Jixxer 600 is very easy to learn for a first rider. I mean, you could take it from me. I've literally only had, what is it, three months now I've had this bike. And, oof. <laughs> I hate this lane on the road. Lane's got so many little imperfections. But hey, that's what makes it all the more fun. Yeah, so I've had this bike for about three months now. It's very easy to start learning on this bike. many videos out there people saying mixed things some people saying always start in a 300 class and some people saying just start on the 600 because After a little bit, you're going to get bored of the 300 class. And you're going to want to move to a 600 anyways. For me, I was going to get a 300. My, uh... My neighbor right downstairs from me, her brother, had a Ninja 300 uh, that was parked outside. And I must have hit them up like five times asking to buy that Ninja 300. Um, there's only a for great price too. Like, I'm really sad that that never happened. Um, I think it was an 08 300. And uh, my best friend rode that exact same bike as her first bike. I was saying how great it was. Finally, as they were ready to sell it, like everything was gonna be all good. I was gonna buy the bike from them, my downstairs neighbor. 
and they text me they can't find the title. And I was all upset. So I spent like the next few months, I'd say four months I'd say, looking at used bikes on a, like Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, stuff like that. checked out one bike. It was a Yamaha R6. It's absolutely perfect. Nothing wrong with the bike. They just wanted cash. Literally the day I was going to go check it out. And I couldn't pull out the amount of cash that they were looking for because when it was a Sunday and the banks were closed and they were asking for more than I could pull out from an ATM on a Sunday. So I didn't have the cash and I went to go check out that bike. It was absolutely perfect though. Um, so I didn't end up getting that Yamaha R6. Shortly after, I think they sold it, or they decided to keep it. And that's why I couldn't get cash, like, later on that next week. Um, so I ended up looking at new bikes. And a friend of mine who uh, a lot of his friends ride Jixers and he has a Jixer himself told me to look at Suzuki Jixers and the only place that was selling Jixers near me that are brand new was about a 45 to an hour minute hour long drive so that was a fun experience um, drove all the way down there, picked up my bike, and I absolutely love it. The look of it is absolutely amazing, and it's brand new, 2023. And I get to do all the modifications that I want to the bike, and I'll know the entire history of the bike to worry about anything used which is a big bonus it's literally a bunch of stop and go currently which isn't an issue it gives me some time to speak um, but yeah I plan to put out more motorcycle vlogs this is sort of just like a test run testing out the microphone because this is the first time I actually those cards is loud as hell. This is the first time I actually installed the microphone and I actually had to change up the mount setup for my GoPro um, with the microphone installed because for those of you that don't know, um, when you plug a microphone into a GoPro it comes out the side and literally the side of the GoPro that my microphone has to plug into is the side right next to the helmet. So I had to extend out my mount setup for the GoPro so it sticks a little further out from the, the helmet. And so that was a bit of a hassle. I would have been out here like an hour ago um, and just before all this rush hour traffic. But it's all good. We all here now. And we got the mount set up. Um, I may tweak it slightly after looking at the footage for this. I may not. Um, feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments. 
you can do any direction of uh, movement to adjust it. And tweak it in any slight way. So I've got a three point mount. So I've got X axis, Y axis, and Z axis of movement for this. Um, eventually though, I'm gonna have a helmet that'll allow me to have the um, GoPro mounted right under my chin. Like most people do in their uh, motor vlogs and uh, just GoPro setups on bikes. Biker. Like the fans are running hot. I'm getting myself out of that stoplight traffic just so I can be moving and talk. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be just exploring different areas throughout Moto Vlogs, finding out what uh, Orlando has to offer, and just having nice little conversations. And on some nights, we'll also be going to, um, come on, there we go. Uh, some nights we'll also be going to um, some bike nights and meeting up with a bunch of people. Um, like I know there is one going on tonight. One of these Thursdays I'll get some footage of me at the, uh, that bike meet and there's literally a ton of really nice looking bikes very tuned um, tons of modifications as far as my bike goes I'm pretty much stock only because it's a brand new bike I've only had it for three months, but I removed the fender, that ugly fender that comes with all brand new bikes. I've also put a lighting kit on it, and I think the lighting kit looks absolutely fantastic. There's only one still issue though, is the fact that the bike is still very silent and that needs to be fixed. So yeah, we're going to eventually get a exhaust system mounted on this bike. Um, then once we get an exhaust, uh, this bike is going to be loud and we won't be happy. Um, I just got to make sure one thing is that the exhaust doesn't overpower my mic volume I don't know of much else that I would want to do to the bike really really dude okay it's Florida traffic oh my god what is he doing way up there is he going straight is that the same dude that like cut me off? I was impatient. He's going. St okay, he turned right. Dude is impatient. I don't know if that was the same person that like cut me off. Like he went into the left lane. He was gonna make a left hand turn back there. Or I assume he was gonna make a left hand turn and then he got into the straight lane. Because he made a right hand turn. Springtime though, springtime in Florida is absolutely nice. 
especially at the beach. Like this spring is my favorite. Beach weather is perfect. Winter can be a bit too cold at the beach. Winter is very nice for riding though. Like once you get into summer and spring time, a little bit into fall, Florida, the weather just gets really bad. It's always rainy. And biker wave.